So what size inverter do you need uh, to run your refrigerator on a battery or a battery bank? Well, a general answer to this question would be that you would need an inverter that is rated at anywhere between 300 watts and 2000 watts. But let's get more specific than that. First of all, uh, inverters have a few specifications that you need to consider. The first uh, and most important specification is the continuous power rating of the inverter. This is the rating that you would uh, commonly see on an inverter and it, it is what's commonly used to classify inverters. It indicates the maximum amount of power in watts that the uh, inverter can continuously and comfortably uh, supply. So the uh, continuous power rating of the inverter that you choose for your uh, refrigerator needs to be greater than the power rating or wattage of your refrigerator. For example, if your fridge has a wattage of 150 watts, the inverter needs to have a continuous power rating of more than 150 watts. So the power rating of your fridge can be uh, determined by referring to the nameplate on the refrigerator, which is typically found uh, inside uh, the fridge. So let me give you an example. So this is the nameplate uh, provided by the manufacturer inside my refrigerator. So on your nameplate, look for uh, ratings that say rated power, uh, rated wattage, or something like rated input in watts or uh, W at the end of the value. In my case, the manufacturer does not directly specify the uh, rated wattage, but instead specifies a rated voltage and a rated current. So uh, power equals voltage times current. So what we can do is uh, multiply this rated voltage by our rated current. So the max value of the voltage is 240 volts and our rated current is 1 amp. So 240 times 1 is 240 watts. So this means that uh, the inverter that I uh, use to run my refrigerator needs to have a, a continuous power rating of more than 240 watts. In this case, I'm using a 500 watt uh, inverter. Uh, so it should be, it actually did run the refrigerator as I've already tested it. Now let's talk about the other specifications that you need to consider. So the second specification to consider is the surge or peak power rating of the inverter. This indicates the maximum amount of power in watts that the inverter is capable of supplying for a brief moment uh, if required. So why is this important? So most refrigerators have regular compressors that just turn on and off in a way that maintains the internal temperature of the fridge. And what happens is Sometimes when the compressor turns on, the uh, motor inside the compressor uh, requires a huge amount of current to gain momentum. This causes a spike in power usage and your inverter needs to be able to handle this uh, spike. So in other words, the peak wattage of the inverter that you choose needs to be greater than this uh, potential starting wattage of your refrigerator. So how do you determine this potential starting wattage or uh, potential spike in power usage caused by your refrigerator? Well, I have a blog post linked in the description below where I explain of, uh, a, a couple of ways to do this. But the easiest way to get uh, some rough estimate is to multiply the rated wattage of your refrigerator by 6. So for example, as seen before, my fridge is rated at 240 watts. So if we multiply that by 6, it will give us uh, 1440 watts of potential starting uh, power. So uh, this means that the inverter that I use needs to have a peak wattage that is greater than uh, 1440 watts. 
So luckily I have here a um, inverter that is uh, that has a peak wattage of 3000 watts. So it's more than capable of uh, uh, supplying the power that could potentially be required by my uh, fridge. Okay, so you can see here I'm running my uh, fridge on a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery using my inverter. So as mentioned before, this inverter is rated at 500 uh, watts and just something I wanted to add is that most inverters uh, will have a peak wattage rating that is double their uh, running uh, wattage or continuous wattage uh, rating. So even though this 500 watt inverter, uh, the manufacturer claims that it has a peak wattage of 3000 watts, I really doubt that's true. Um, its peak wattage will probably be uh, 1000 watts or 1500 watts at most but it uh, still is able to run my fridge uh, so just something to keep in mind when you're shopping for an in inverter the uh, peak wattage of the inverter will likely be uh, double the continuous wattage rating or triple at most in some uh, cases Now the uh, third specification to consider is the input voltage of the inverter. So simply uh, make sure that the uh, voltage, the input voltage of the inverter matches the uh, nominal voltage of your battery bank. So for example this battery is rated at 12 volts and this is a 12 volt inverter. So if you have a 24 uh, volt battery bank you need a 24 volt inverter. So if we had Two of these together uh, wired together in parallel the voltage will uh, stay the same so we can still use this inverter with the battery bank but if we had two of these wired in series the voltage would be 24 volts now and we would need a 24 volt inverter now the last specification to consider is the output waveform of your inverter or the quality of its output signal so in this regard there are two common types of inverters out there. So you have your pure sine wave inverters like the one I have here uh, and modified sine wave inverters. So pure sine wave inverters are generally more expensive uh, but the signal that they provide looks like this. Uh, and this is similar to what you would find at uh, the electrical outlets inside your uh, home. A uh, clean and smooth uh, electrical signal. Uh, modified sine wave inverters, on the other hand, are uh, cheaper, but they provide a signal that looks like this. So a squarish signal. So uh, your refrigerator will uh, uh, operate on both types of um, uh, inverters, but uh, with the modified sine wave inverter, uh, your refrigerator will consume more energy, and it's likely that the inverter will uh, shorten the lifespan uh, of your fridge. And since refrigerators are more expensive than inverters, uh, uh, I recommend using a pure sine wave inverter to run your uh, refrigerator. Once you've determined all the specifications of the inverter that you need to run your fridge, it's also important to make sure that you're using the right size wires between your battery and inverter. Uh, so, uh, to make your life easier, I've made a uh, calculator uh, that you can use. All you have to do is uh, give it a few details, such as the continuous wattage of the inverter you'll be using and the voltage of the uh, battery bank, and it will provide the size of the wires that you need in American uh, wire gauge and uh, also in square uh, millimeters. For example, here, as mentioned before, I'm using a uh, 500 watt inverter uh, running on a 12 volt battery and uh, for that I'm uh, using 3 gauge uh, uh, wires. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I think that's it for this uh, video. Uh, again, reminder, you will find a detailed blog post linked in the description 
below you will also find the calculator linked in the description below. And yeah, see you in the next one.